Hey guys, it's Kayla, back again with another card video today. Today I'm going to be doing a fairly simple card. It's just going to be a little bit of embossing for texture, and other than that, it's going to be mostly coloring. I am using the Art Impressions Unmounted uh, Bear Hug set, and I've printed that onto my piece of cardstock, my A2 cardstock. And I've also put the sentiment bear hug on it. And I've also stamped it on a piece of sticker paper that I have. And I've cut it out to make a mask. That way I can cover up the bear while I do the background. Now the sticker paper that I have, I have no idea what brand it is, what company it's from. When we moved into this house, there was a lot of stuff still here. And it was among that stuff in the office supply stuff that we found. Um, I think it's for label making. I'm not quite sure, but I, I like it. It is very tacky, so I do press it onto my hand a few times before I stick it onto the card for fear of tearing the design underneath. So I'm taking my Distress Ink. It is the Salty Ocean, and I'm just kind of blending it in as best as I can from the outside in. And I do have this sped up because for me, blending takes a very, very, very long time because I'm still so very, very new at it. Um, I also took a, another piece of the sticker paper and I cut out a bit of a mask to make this bear look like he was standing on a snowbank. Why I thought the bear needed to be on a snowbank, basically just, it's winter time here, everything is full of snow and why not? <laughs> So after I put on the Salty Ocean, I also used the, sorry, that's my phone. I also used the black soot to make, give it a bit more depth and just darken up around the edges. Once again, using my mini blending tool. So once I had all the distressing background done to my liking, I peeled off the snow mask, not the bear mask yet, and I used another dabber, uh, the sponge for the mini blenders, and I have the pad of embossing ink, I guess you call it, and I just dabbed it on to put on the white embossing powder. I'm going to try and give it a bit of texture to make it look a bit more like snow, and what I did to achieve it to look not just like a regular embossing is I embossed one layer, I went back in, I put select areas with more of the embossing gel, glue, ink, <laughs> re-embossed it and I did that about three times total to end up kind of with a little bit of depth, depth to, so I just heated that up, you'll see here, and I did the rest, the other two layers off camera. So after that it was time to color. And I used only three colors for the actual bear. My lightest color was E33. I used E35 and I used a little bit of E37 as well. For the bear's boxers, it was R37. For the little hearts and W1 for the actual boxer shorts themselves. And for the tie, I used B02. So, like I said, I've spread this up. I'm just going to put on a bit of music and I will be right back with the finishing touches.
I had that all colored in, I just wanted to put in a little bit of something extra to look at because I found it was very plain. So I grabbed my almost translucent pearlescent iridescent, I'm not sure what these are, sequins. And I glue on a few of them with my Ranger multi matte medium and just sporadically kind of put a little blob, put a sequin, put a little blob, put a little sequin. And I do plan on at some point very soon, very soon, not soon, getting a quick stick or quick stick pick thing because using my fingers for all these applications is, it's really not practical. They stick more to my fingers than they stick to the page most of the time, so. But anywho, that is pretty much it. Like I said, very simple, very straightforward. I like the end result. It's basic and that's, that's it. So I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe, comment if you have any suggestions or anything you'd like to see and happy crafting.